Well, hello YouTube. So I'm back from a two-day trip down to Eastbourne. I went to Wintercon, uh, an amazing convention. So as you can see, I'm on the train. I don't know why we as YouTubers always put clips in on trains. Maybe it's just to make it look more interesting. I don't really know. But it's better than filming my feet walking along. So that's the hotel I stayed in. Very nice, I was surprised. I ended up on the top floor with a balcony overlooking uh, the sea. I was extremely impressed, actually. Uh, I, I knew I'd get a balcony, but I didn't think they put me on the top floor. Beautiful hotel. Uh, the breakfast, uh, amazing. Beautiful bar. Met a few people down there, and some people that were going at convention. Had a great two days. At night time, didn't really leave the hotel. We all stayed in the bar. I did go for a, an Italian meal up at the marina. I met these other friends I know that lived down there. That was sort of interesting. But as you can see, this is when I arrived. Uh, this is like the hotel room. I'm not showing it. I'm just, I was quite impressed with the balcony. It's called The View, and I do recommend you should stay there to do some great deals. And the breakfast is awesome. It really is. Really friendly stuff. Now, I liked all this. Uh, I just stood there. Normally, I've stayed in a hotel round the corner. As well, it's not grotty, but the hotel round the corner, it just, I mean, you have breakfast in that place and sausages bounce off the wall. I mean, it wasn't exactly, but your yeah, luxury. Uh, but, but this place, totally different. Totally just... I think I'm going to start staying here because the food, they were just at Zemper and I definitely want a view, like getting up to a view like that every morning. The other hotel was shut down, I don't know why. That cafe bar over there is superb for food. Now as you can see, I've just arrived at the convention. And Wintercon is an interesting one, it really is. You know, because I believe that Wintercon has the potential to become something much bigger. Yet, do I want it to become like this big convention? I think it, 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 the problem is, is like, you see, for me, it's like a local event. And that's what I like about it. It's not like Comic Con where you've been pushed down aisles and queuing for hours just to get in. You come here, it's a nice price to get in, it's about 12 quid. And they have parties, you pay for them separately, they have like nighttime events over the weekend. And a lot, they have to throw a lot in for what they're charging. Plus, they raise money for the like Eastbourne, like for stuff in Eastbourne, like charities and stuff. So the money's going back into the community, it's like a community thing. And the people that run it are really, really nice people. And uh, the the stall holders, every all the all the people there, they're really nice. But it, it's like you see, I would like to go for the day, you know, from London. But the trains are never on at the weekends. You know, there's always engineering works. And I can't understand it. The South Coast, uh, you, you think, you, you know, so many people would put more people would probably come. Now I have bumped into a couple of friends off the convention circuit have popped up here over the years from London but it is mostly along the south coast now I know Brighton Comic Con's quite big but Wintercon has this personal thing to it and that's what I like about this convention it, it should be bigger than what it is I, I really think they deserve it but if the, if, if the transport problems from like London to Eastbourne or wherever trains because I came back on the Saturday I had to go to a friend's birthday and it was a rail replacement bus out of Eastbourne. Then I had to go back to Brighton, and then and then like a two a two hour train journey back to London. Normally, if I'd have gone from Eastbourne, it'd have been an hour and fifteen minutes. You know, life would have been made a lot easier, but it's complicated. But you know, that's that, that's what it is. That's how it is. And what can you do about it? But there's some great cosplayers down here. Now there's some interesting stalls. There's some stalls that should not be in here. You know, I'm, I, I went one year and there were like, I think Tesco's had a stall or something a few years back 
when they had it. Because they were doing, it's, it's at a place called Winter Gardens. And they were doing it up, so they moved it into a big circus tent. And I, uh, part of me thought, am I at a rave? And they actually had, they had these stalls in there. I don't think it should have been there. But that's the beauty of it. This place is different. And that's what I like about it. Now, there's a lot of steampunk going on here as well. And you get a lot of cosplay groups like the Joker Squadron. I met them in Southampton. Uh, a convention a couple of years ago. I've seen them at other stuff. They were there and there were some other cosplayers. So, I mean, people are going to it. But the parties are really good. Now, I met a nice crowd in the hotel. And I had a good time with them all. So, that was sort of really good. But I'm glad I went and I don't regret it. it, it I, I love going to this. It, but it's either October, November, one they have I'd love to see this thrown over the summer. But they probably have to pay loads of money out, you know, to win the gardens. Because there's like loads of events there but it's a big convention they've got a whole like altar gaming uh the set set up uh, i mean i saw castle grayskull like the front of it and all these other sets from tv series i mean there's some footage of got robotic like dragons pulling off and pulling a carriage with two vultures sat at the back i don't know what that's from because it's not really my thing but that was impressive the people that set this up really put the hard working. So I'm going to disappear and I'll pop up towards the end of the video, let you know what I thought. Uh, and I'll have some music and because you don't want to wear me going on. So enjoy the video and I'll see you at the end.
So I've just got that now for a quick summary. Uh, yeah, fantastic convention. Looking forward to next year. I might go for the full two days and do the parties next year. Uh, but I had a friend's birthday, so I had to get back to London. So, but all in all, fantastic couple of days. Didn't want to come back, but of course, reality calls. So I did pick up some stuff. I did go to see Exit Eastbourne, amazing Blu-ray section, 4Ks upstairs. That's in a separate video. I'll do that after this. Uh, so I'm going to finish off a couple of stunning uh you know, shots of the sun going down at night time. You know, uh, it was just beautiful. So that's what I'll finish this on. So please subscribe, give us a like, and I will see you on the next video. Uh, live long and prosper.